What is going on YouTube? It's Huncho back with another video. Today I'm actually going to do a highly requested video which is going to be how to use Beamer code via through the app and everything like that. So let's get in the car. Let's set everything up. I'm going to show you what you guys need, everything and the whole run through based on my car G20 or honestly any BMW that uh, is compatible with it. So let me get started real quick. I'm going to hop in the car, show you what you guys need and then we'll get in straight into it. Alrighty guys, so first things first, what you're gonna need is an internet cable that will basically be able to connect to your ODB port and that will be located right under here, like near your footwell area. Super easy to connect plugs in. It's gonna look something like that. I got mine off Amazon. Uh, mine just cost 20 bucks just to get. Um, you can get like the boot mod one or AMC or whatever tuning platform that you do use that's like a wireless one that could connect. Those are a little more expensive, but they are Bluetooth, so it makes it a little more easy free. I usually keep this in my car in the back seat trunk area you know just in case um but other than that the ethernet cable you will need like a sort of like an adapter so i got this off best buy it's really nice because they have like different usbs and as well as hdmi ports so i can use this for whatever but this is a usb-c one so it connects to my iphone i have an iphone 15 so it's a usb-c it's super easy to connect so i'm going to show you how to connect this real quick so let's get started into that Hey guys, so this right here is gonna plug into an opening right here. Not sure if you guys can see it, but it'll be right here on this side. Super easy to connect. It, you, all you have to do is just push it in. It's gonna feel like it's not going in all the way, but that's fine. As long as it pushes in, it'll be firm just like that. Make sure it doesn't go nowhere, give it a little tug. Alrighty, next, you're gonna have this, like I said, just connect it up to your mobile device, computer, laptop, whatever you're using to use it. And I'm gonna show you guys what you need on the phone to get it. Overall, the data update is completed. So next, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna basically connect the wire, like I said, the USB-C to it. And also before anything, you always wanna make sure your phone's disconnected from CarPlay and from the car at all times, because you don't want it to interfere because it will not connect if your phone Bluetooth or CarPlay anything is connected to that. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the start button three times, no foot on the brake or anything, just let it click three times. One, two, three. Now you see it when it's a diagnostic mode, it's gonna load up everything like that. Check engine light's fine. Like it says, just diagnostic mode. Turn off the AC real quick. So you do that. All right. So you're gonna click connect. You're gonna click, these are the different options. Like I said, I have the ethernet cable. So you just click that one. Like I said, you do have a whole bunch of different other ones that you could use, but I'm using the ethernet cable. So let's just click connect. So just start going. Like I said, just make sure the Wi-Fi it's just on, but not connected to CarPlay. It'll load up a little bit. All right, perfect. So once it connected to the vehicle, you're gonna have a list of all the BMWs that's eligible to use it. Mine is on 3 Series slash M3, of course. So we're gonna click continue. This is identifying control units, which is basically just reading the ECU, getting ready to unlock and, um, you know, just access all the features and all the programming. So I'm gonna go through each category with you guys. The first one's gonna be advanced crash safety module. This one's basically saying, uh, talking about all the different um, seat belts and everything like that. So not sure if you can see like cameras to turn off and stuff. These are all seat belt reminders. I understand the seat belt reminders can be um, a little bit annoying. I ride with my seat belt regardless, but I know the sound could be annoying. So these are all on not active. That's all you have to do. Just disable it, not active for all these. And when you're done, you're gonna click code on the top right. I'm gonna show you guys when I finish it through the other settings. So I might change the color of the ambient lighting a little bit. This one's body domain controller. Now this one's a huge one. Right here is gonna be for the ambient lighting color. So for this one, let's access the ambient lighting settings. So when you change it, you're only allowed to change these two ones. Well, primarily just the bronze one. It says bronze, but you understand when I click it, it goes fully red. I like the red, it was nice, but I think it's time to change it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the color here and you have different color options that you are allowed to choose from. So let's say, and the good thing is you are able to change it to the two different tones. So for example, let's say I do teal and the bottom one, let's say I do purple. Let's do it like that. Now, remember how that was grayed out? Now you're gonna be able to code it. So you're gonna click code it's gonna say this important note. It's just gonna click start coding, let it code in. Now all the lights will disable, lights will change up. It's gonna say these settings, you're completely fine with that. Let's take a look at that now. Now everything coded in, and now you're on your bronze setting. That'll be your custom setting. The rest are still functional, but these are just your custom settings. And like I said, it's clean the errors, everything like that. 
but you could change up to any color combination that you want so i think i might leave it like this i think this is i haven't ran this color in a while but just to show you guys another time let's say um let's say green let's say blue green and blue colorway let's try that so it'd be like an alpina theme there you go so you see how it changed up now like i said you're always able to change up it's definitely pretty nice to have your own settings it's basically personalize the car to the way you want it so that's super neat like i said the errors and all the messages will code away so that's completely fine don't worry about it but let's go on to the next category before we leave this one you do have different categories and stuff like that like brake force display uh daytime running light this is really nice i have this equipped on my vehicle so even even in the daytime when you have your daytime running headlights the daytime tail scan beyond it's really nice it gives a nice detail to the vehicle as well um this one's a horn signal when locking you know two times automatic lock window lifter interruption when opening the door driver assistance this is another nice one default driving mode i like to drive my car in eco on a daily basis you know it's just really comfortable and not loud super great on gas doesn't really be jerky or anything so i have an eco mode but you could change it to any one that you want next going down here you do have like different lightings and stuff like that also this is a sport plus mode as well you are able to activate it driving mode sport plus and these are a whole bunch of different lighting settings don't really use or don't really care for any of, of these honestly these are pretty average you don't really need to mess with any of those but let me go over to the next couple categories now this one's about the engine control unit this could be the auto start stop function i hate this feature so i disabled all this it's pretty annoying also this is really handy because when you replace your battery you are able to code in the correct battery that you do have you see battery capacity and stuff like that you are change it the volts and everything else uh the next one is going to be head unit this is pretty nice because uh understand you know with a lot of people like m lights and stuff just 330s you are able to code in the m variants and stuff like that so you could put alpina bmw rolls royce anything that you want basically what that does is when the vehicle turns on the m logo will shine on here let me show you guys how that looks like real quick so i'm gonna switch it over to alpina real quick if you guys have an idea click code in it's coding in let's take a look at that see just like that alpina will code in i want to show you guys the m variant one let me call down back in click start coding and every time you change the setting i will highly 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 recommend you click code after every time just to be sure and just to make sure nothing you know messes up or anything but there you go that's the m1 that's coding in right now so every time you turn on the vehicle this m logo will pop up nice little detail now coming along under here you do have like tire pressure control a uh, cover our x view display engine sound menu you could turn it on this is i think i'm gonna turn it on because I, I haven't seen this one before um tire widget i'm gonna put active so i can see the tire displays and stuff uh lock that for pulling away close roof automatically lane change assistance uh let me see there's a couple of new things here honestly i never even realized support displays this one's video and motion vsb so with the usb you are able to play music videos throughout the vehicle and stuff like that which is pretty nice um you can even play movies tv shows anything as long as you have the usb and these are just different warnings and stuff so let's go over to the next category here this will be for the sport plus driving modes and stuff like that so I remember you are able to code in like backup files. I coded in the backup file to fix a problem, but I need to code this back in so I can have the Sport Plus again. And you are able to have Comfort Plus as well. So let me code both of those in. Start coding. Now it's gonna be writing the vehicle data, restarting ECU. And every time you code in, this screen is gonna go black. That's completely fine, don't worry about it. It's just like I said, restarting the head unit so everything can be coded in. But Sport Plus is a big game changer because what it's doing is just being a little more aggressive with the compared to regular Sport. Um, it automatically goes into um, higher RPMs and everything like that. So here, for example, let's click Sport. So you see a plus individual and everything now. So standard plus individual. And I believe for comfort as well. This is comfort or comfort plus. So that's pretty cool now i have all the regular drive modes as well this next one a lot of people always ask me how to get the m display so this right here this first setting when you click layout 
you do have alpina m and performance 160 and performance 200 m sport m with shift like standard or unassigned value so let's say i put m with shift lights let me try that one out i'll just click code start coding this one might be when i start shifting the lights might pop up so let's take a look at that red line tachometer so you can change it to the rpms if you shift early shift late stuff like that uh m logo you could change it to m2 competition m3 m3 cs before cs there's so much different things that you could change it to which is insane you can even put v12 if you want that's hilarious but yeah so a lot of people always ask me how i get the m logos and stuff that's pretty much how you do it right there now this one's going to be audio receiver so this is basically an active sound design i turned that off um let me see burple sound this is like for basically like if you want to hear additional sounds in the car throughout the speakers i don't like that that's pretty much fake stuff this right your signal tone so this will be like the warning chimes everything like that i have it on rolls royce i like it it's not bad it makes it a little more classy i would say uh this one roof function center um let me see what this one is i believe this is like alarms and stuff like that yeah the alarm sound i have it on great britain Actually, i wasn't even showing the damn screen that's my bad but um yeah this pretty much sums everything up the last one's just module driver like heating and stuff like that like i said every car is going to be a little bit different this is just for a standard g20 and like i said if you're getting tired if you want to switch or go back to your old ones super easy so let's say whatever category you go on you'll be going on the top right up here or i believe it's top or the bottom right this is going to say backups this backups right here you click backups and you're going to have all your backups and it's going to have the tape day and time and everything like that. So I've been using Beamer code ever since April 28, 2022. I can go to bone stock if I want to. So these save all your backups, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about anything missing or if you mess something up, don't know what to do, then that'll be a different story. But I did want to mention about going here, expert mode. What expert mode does, it's a little more complicated as you can see warning using extra mode incorrectly can cause a serious problems that may require a reflash of the control unit to correct item. use this function at your own risk now what this is insurance or er, what this is doing is basically getting very deep and very specific into the coding i wouldn't recommend this if you do not know what you're doing or if you're following the forums and they're showing you the direct steps that's a different story but this has every single like 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 this is basically like the masters of um coding right here so basically you know every little thing you see it's like random wording and stuff like that but you just got to know what you're doing with this part uh, like i said i will highly recommend to do your research before doing anything or following the right steps because you don't want to mess nothing up you don't want to mess anything but um overall that pretty much sums up the whole beamer code which is really cool that it's really easy to use and everything like that and at the end you just click disconnect disconnect it and just like that and just to get out the diagnostic mode click this now you're out of diagnostic mode let's get the vehicle startup there we go vehicle's all coded in so i have the sport plus and everything like that as you can see i am using the tire pressure in my dash now and that's super clean overall everything came out good no issues no warnings everything like that only warnings i do have is just for the same thing just the front side my uh, marker light those are the um the laser lights because they don't have the side signals i do have to go to someone to have that professionally coded out you can some things you're able to code it through beamer code some things you are not so I mean, it will be coding that out soon the brake pad signals um this is just a brake pad sensor i changed it out i guess the one that i put in is not effective as you can see but yep everything's all pretty much set that pretty much sums up the whole beamer code video hope you guys liked it let me if you have any questions or concerns in the comments i'm always here to help uh follow all the socials everything like that like i said i just want to come out and make a quick walk around video because a lot of people always ask me about it so i'm gonna be doing that for you guys and hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment sub up and on to the next